Okay, I got this out of the recycling, battery recycling bin today at work. Um, it seems to be a Walmart charger plus a battery pack. And when I looked very carefully along the edge of the battery pack, let me just get some light on here, find the right spot again. Yeah, right along this edge here. Because uh, it doesn't show very well. Anyway, right along in in here. Can I do this with a pointer? There you go. Right in here. I could read that it says nickel metal hydride triple uh, double A battery. So that light is way too bright. So I figured, why not? Let's see what we can do with it. Um it does seem to be melt, welded. The plastic seems to be welded all the way around the outside here. So, my first thought is the hammer. It's going to probably be a little bit noisy, but whatever. Let's see if I can crack this sucker. There it goes. And I pretty much did that. Seems to be nothing but air in here. That's cool. And it does seem to be some double A battery sized things in here. Let's see if I can get them out. Or if it needs further persuasion. I think it needs further persuasion. Stupid cat. Time for side cutters. Here we go. Making a mess. You're making a lot of noise, too. Uh, what are you taking from? Battery pack. Well, Why? Because I want the batteries. We have plenty of batteries. Why do you need those batteries? Because I want them. No, seriously, why do you need those batteries? Be specific. Where are my wire cutters? Where are my goddamn wire cutters? Oh. There. There we go. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Hard things for no reason. Mm-hmm. That's the fun of life. All right. Now these are stuck together. I've cut, I've cut all the tabs, but they're stuck together. So, um, try wedging something between them. Nope. Uh huh. That's lovely. Please tell me that wasn't the screwdriver. It wasn't. Okay. Keep a screwdriver, but still. And the implement. There we go. That does it. Oh, I see. That's weird. It melted the plastic together, so the plastic started coming off. Alright, 
This is going to be a little bit messy, but okay. Let me see if I can find the markings on these. They're definitely double A size. Got that tab to come right off. Right to the other end. Awesome. It's the first time these things have come off that easily. I ripped the tabs off the end of them. That was with the Mayan ones, they never want to come off. Peel it. Peel it just come right off. Well, that's cool. Alright. Um. Awesome. Thanks for a neater battery when you're done. You get the pieces, little pieces of, sorry, little pieces of metal come right off for the tabs. I'm just left with the battery, like a normal battery. It's a little tiny bit of crud on them. Get off there. those markings. There it is. Seven right across here. Let's see, I have to put it this way up for any chance of you reading it there. Uh, my 7.2 nickel metal hydride double A 1300 milliamp hour. That's what the pack was rated as. Six cells 1.2 volts each. Sounds right. And it looks like they're just going to have this green crap off come off anyway. So, whatever. More tabs to pull apart here. Yeah. That's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. off as well. Two. to stay on. Okay then. Three. There we go. They're going to be nude. At least they should all be nude. Five. One more. It's already partially peeled. Okay, good. There we go. 
six. Do a little bit of a haircut here. Okay. So before I go any further, I am going to forget what these are if I'm not right on them. So, nickel metal hydride. 1300 that's what they're rated they're probably not at that capacity anymore but whatever nickel metal hydride 1300 amp Gotta be careful I don't completely peel these. I guess it doesn't really matter. Whatever. <laughs> Nickel. Nickel hydride. 1300 milliamp hour. Nickel hydride. Too. Did a poor job on that one. There we go. Nickel metal hydride, thirteen hundred milliamp hour. One more. Metal hydride, thirteen hundred milliamp hour. There. Now I have them all marked. Stop rolling away. Stay. Stay. Okay. Now I could go and measure these. Might actually be a wise idea. Come to think of it. Um. I just moved it before I turned on the camera. Couldn't remember where I put it. Okay. You're getting annoying. Stay. So, fully charged, these things are supposed to be 1.2 volts. I keep forgetting. The camera's upside down. Okay. I really don't like these probes. Is that 0.16? Yeah, 0.16. 160 millivolts. That's nice and low. A volt. Yeah, that one might be useful. Maybe. Put them through a charge cycle before I determine if they're any use or not, but I'm just curious how much is in them right now. Hundred and seventy mobile. But there's a reason people throw away battery packs, but Yeah, they're pretty dead. 
So 0 0.2 times 4 is 0 0.8 plus 2 is 1.8. Yeah, that's about what it was. I measured it at work and it was around, around 1.8 volts for the entire pack. So sounds about right. Um, all right, well, these I'll put away in a moment. I was just wondering if I should pull this part for the heck of it. See what's in it. Meh, not right now. Let's put that in my miscellaneous crap pile. All right, I guess that's it. Complete with uh, narration for my stepdaughter who was wondering what the hell I was doing. Anyways, um, such is life. See ya.